electricity can't be stored. That's why when we produce electricity from a source as intermittent as the wind, it's important to find ways to store the energy so we can use it whenever we want it. That's where Basin Electric's wind to hydrogen project comes in. Here's how the electrolyzer works, how the economics may play out, and how the price of hydrogen compares to the price of a gallon of gasoline. To turn wind energy into horsepower, you need a pretty good hunk of metal in the middle. This electrolyzer sits just south of Minot, North Dakota. Randy Bush at Basin Electric explains how the electrolyzer works. Take and then dynamic schedule the energy out of our wind farms and we'll basically scale it to come into here to a 175 kilowatt unit. It, we'll measure it going into the grid and pull it off over here and run it through the electrolyzer. If you look back at the high school chemistry class, uh, it's basically taking two wires, running them into water, and running electricity to it, which actually breaks and sort of splits the hydrogen <laughs> into, or the water into hydrogen and oxygen. The project that brought this equipment here carries a $2 million price tag. Bush says if this experiment goes well, future projects would cost less. We could have doubled the size of the electrolyzer for another $300 thousand dollars so that's what you get to economy of scale in that area also we talk about different things is when like when you bought your VCR and some of those type of things you build more of them and the price of them will come down over time so that's where you get the economy of scale but what really gets people smiling is this well the total cost of this fill up was 46 cents it was <laughs> not bad the price of a gallon of gasoline compared to the hydrogen equivalent when it gets right down to it, when you have those economies of scale and producing them, you'll get down in the three, four dollar range, which is comparable to gasoline today. So over the next two years, this pilot project will determine whether it's feasible to link the wind in your hair to the horses under your hood. For Basin Electric, I'm Tracy Bettenhausen.